this is this is one of those songs that um, this is one of those songs that I've gotten into a lot of trouble over. And uh, but I promise every word of it is right out of the Bible. My daddy was an old Pentecostal holiness preacher. Yes. And um, we was known as the Holy Rovers. <laughs> Y'all know any Pentecostals oh, down yeah. here? There's some of them down here. Well, even so, even though I grew up in that, you know, sort of situation, um, I just want to make sure everybody's okay. Yeah. Nobody's lost anything in this rain, has he? <laughs> Anyhow, my daddy. Um, any y'all? Most y'all raised kids, right? <laughs> you do know that, like, by the time they get to be 16 years old, they figured that whole timing thing out. <laughs> they know when to ask for stuff. I always know that my youngest daughter, who's now 17, I can always tell when she wants something real bad because she doesn't call me dad, she calls me daddy. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as daddy falls out of her mouth, I look at her and I go, what the hell you want? <laughs> There was this one day that I had a baseball game all the way across the county. And my daddy had to stop everything that he was doing just so to take me to the, to the ball game. And they put a hitch and hitch come along, I won't tell you. <laughs> I can, you know, I can say hitch and come along down here. We know. We know. Yeah. Everybody knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> I say that up. You get up like north of Virginia and say that people look at like you like you grow horns or <laughs> So I explained to them, you know, a hitch is the last thing that you want when you're coming yeah. on. <laughs> you just learn a perfectly good you know There's daddy sitting over there, he got to give you right across town with that hitch all worked up and just come along. And I can tell he's mad as fire. And I'm thinking to myself, oh, this is perfect time. So I said, hey daddy, listen. If you, I've got to save me up five hundred dollars, and if you will loan me five hundred dollars, I can buy this little car down the street here for a thousand. And then I went to line about how I'd take my sister to school, and he would never have to do anything like that again. And he just looked at me and he said, "Boy, I tell you what, I will buy the car outright for you. And you spend your five hundred dollars on your insurance and gas." On one condition, you let me take you to Enoch and Ernie's Barbershop and get you a decent haircut. And I was like, come on, man. Jesus had long hair. I've seen all the pictures. He didn't miss a bit. He said, yeah, and he walked everywhere he went. <laughs> If I was Jesus, I'd have some real long hair. I'd be, I'd wear some robe and some sandals. That'd be all I'd wear. I'd be the guy at the party turning water in the wine. Me and my disciples, we'd have a real good time.
I was poor. I'd run around with the wrong crowd. I'd never be a bore. And I'd hear me a blind man get myself crucified by politicians and preachers who got something to hide. Ooh, and I would live.